Why would a retriever that loves to carry stuff want to dump it off all the time? The little puppy chief right now. If we, my little one, you just saw, I think we're on bathroom break. We're crate training that one right now, so I think she's on bathroom break. But she has a, she has a real bad habit of leaving stuffed toys around our house. Well, Chief isn't allowed, I don't let him free run the house. But occasionally, I bring him in from going to the bathroom or doing whatever, and he decides he wants to run around the house a little bit, and so I gotta kinda corral him back up. And he'll pick up her she, one of her favorite is Dumbo. She's got a Dumbo thing that Steph got in Florida. Really loves Dumbo. Well, Lillian doesn't like Chief carrying Dumbo around. So Dumbo gets carried around, and what does Lillian want to do? Go chase Chief and get Dumbo. What does Chief think that, is, that means? Fun. Pick something up. They'll chase me. This is great. Keep away. Dogs that run off with stuff most often times are created by us and we don't even realize it because we're not thinking about training that duck dog, shed dog, gun dog at that point. We're thinking about saving Dumbo. When my wife's shoes get picked up and they're expensive shoes that I don't even want to know about, when she picks those up and Steph's upset about it because the damn dog's got my shoes, I look at it as an opportunity to make a retrieve. So I treat it way differently. I go, Oh, come on, good boy, good boy. And the dog can't help but come to me with it. It's got it in its mouth and it's real proud of it. And I take it from the dog and I say, you're so good, I give it right back to him. <laughs> I do. Because I don't want dogs to start thinking that when I bring it back to him, he takes it away. Who, what fun is that? Why would a retriever that loves to carry stuff want to dump it off all the time? So what I do is I get these little puppies to bring that stuff to me I share it back and forth a couple times. I tell them how good they are. Then I pick it up. Spry, come here. Then I pick it up, and then I look at my wife and I say, I'll put your shoes away for you. <laughs> like, I don't tell her to put them away. But my kids, I'll say, put your stuff away. Because that, you're not, you're not thinking about it, but it's creating a bad habit. And the bad habit of runaway, how many people here struggle to get their dogs to bring stuff back? They want to play chase. They want to play keep away. It's a terrible habit. It's a really hard thing to overcome. But if we start right from the beginning of changing that and instead forming it the way we want it, retrieving becomes very easy. I use a process that we call hold conditioning. It's not force fetch. So we won't get into that that much today. But it's, it's the idea of a dog wanting to hold on to something until they bring it all the way back to me. That's where that starts. It's formal, and I do it later on the road and every retriever I think needs it, but we start that out, that's where it starts, is those puppies picking stuff up for me. Balled up socks are a great way to do that because their little puppy teeth get stuck in the sock and they have a hard time spitting it out. And what do I want to avoid? I want to avoid one habit of a dog that picks stuff up and drops it, picks stuff up and drops it. Because when you pick up a cripple, it runs away. And then the chase starts again. So I want dogs to grab stuff and hold it until they bring it to me and you saw it with her. She comes to me and I say, hold, hold dead and then I get it from her. You can use whatever words you want but it's a habit that the dog has to start early on to make my life easier down the road. Now the antler, positive. I really want this to be fun. Dogs don't love the antlers, that's not why they're hunting them. But they like the idea of when we connect retrieve and they get the praise for it, that's a light bulb for them and it clicks and they go, it's all I got to do is bring him those things. And when they're little, sometimes, you know, a lot of times, pu puppies pick up everything. I'll walk down the street and they'll be bringing me soda bottles, you know? In the springtime, you go down the road and there's, the ditches are full of pop bottles. Well, the thing about that is, is with those little dogs, that's fine. I'm not gonna make a big deal of it, but my big dogs don't pick all that stuff up. They don't pick it up and bring it back to me. And the reason is, is because there's not a lot of value in it for them. I don't get excited and praise them when they pick that kind of stuff up. But think about it, if there was a $100 bill in every one of those pop bottles, I'd be going to pick them up myself because they have value all of a sudden. So we gotta create value in the idea of what, the, what we want the dogs to find.